My name's Eric and I was born in Ohio and grew up outside Hamilton, Ontario. My name is Elise and uh, I'm from a small town called Prince Edward County, which is about an hour away from Kingston. I'm Robert Reed and I'm from uh, London, Ontario. Uh, my name's David and uh, I'm from Mississauga. My name's Marie Gajmarek and I hail from Edmonton, Alberta. Hi, I'm Mahila and I'm from Toronto. Hi, I'm Spencer uh, and I'm originally from Oshawa, Ontario. Hi, I'm Joanne. I uh, was born into a military family and came to Kingston about four years ago. Hi, I'm Sharon. I'm from Kingston, Ontario. So I, uh, I really like getting to know people and uh, when they're struggling, being able to help them. Our, our main sort of tools that we're using with patients is a conversation. I really enjoy that back and forth. Uh, it's quite a privilege to work in this field. People you meet for the first time uh, will share some really uh, personal and intimate details about their life. We bridge everything from very artistic, creative activities to very scientific and factual based things. And then you combine that with the people and the things that we get to do. I just find it's fascinating and I really enjoy my work. We have about six or seven residents a year, which makes the resident body about 35. So it's like, I picture it as a big school class. It's the perfect size. It feels like one big family. You get to know all the residents really well, especially those in your year. And also um, you get to know almost all the faculty quite well. And it lends to a really comfortable learning environment. We have an acute care center and we have a rehab hospital. We have an outpatient hospital. We have a program that's large enough to support all the like child, geri, or forensic needs. But our population that we get is, we'll give you the bread and butter of psychiatry without being too hyper-specialized. We have two great program directors and a great group of residents. Everybody knows each other and we all get along great. Kingston provides a really diverse uh, exposure to a variety of patient populations. And we have a great population of both the military here as well as a vast prison population. Competency-based medical education is a strength. We've been doing it here at Queen's for four years or more. Not to boast that we've kind of got it down and that, that's saying something because there can be a lot of wrinkles if you start, you're starting a new program and you are a guinea pig in a new curriculum. You won't be here. I think our resident body is, is superbly close and hardworking and they really do want to learn and I found that con in contrast to a lot of the other programs across the country. I think one of the absolute best things about Kingston is how much there is to do outdoors. So, I mean, you have everything you need in the city, but you can drive like you know, five minutes up the road in any direction and you'll find camping, hiking, trails, swimming. There's just so much to do and in all seasons. There's so many waterfront trails. So whenever I walk my dog, I can always have this magnificent view um, of gorgeous sunrises or sunsets over Lake Ontario or the Cataraqui River. And even walking from Hotel Dew or from PCH to the waterfront just gives you a chance to reset your day. There's lots of restaurants and lots of things to do. And I'm uh, also in the Kingston Single Malt Society, so if you like scotch, uh, I like that as well too. My favorite spot would be wandering over to City Park on my lunch hour and wandering around the campus. It's beautiful. Uh, the Queen's campus is absolutely gorgeous. It's just um, a totally different pace of life. And I've come to really, really enjoy that, even though I always thought I'd be a big city person for my whole life. <laughs>